You know what that does when we communicate our feelings, whether it's good or bad, negative or positive, when we communicate our feelings, it releases you of extra stress and extra tension mm -hmm. and, and possibly even resentment. That's what I was going to say. Mm -hmm. Not expressing those feelings and mm -hmm. then holding those emotions right. in and your partner has no clue what's going on. Yeah. When you express that to your partner and your partner is open and receptive to hearing it, mm -hmm. that communication is there so that, so that knowledge is there yeah. for you guys to be able to respond mm -hmm. adequately to mm -hmm. whatever that person is feeling, what right. that partner is feeling. And that makes it so much easier in right. the long run. And not every conversation and not every um, emotion that that you have is going to come off as you would want it to. Because right. definitely if you're in an angry space or you're in a, a overwhelmed space, sometimes your energy can be off. And mm -hmm. sometimes you just have to step back yourself and realize like, hey, like I'm not in the best headspace right now. Right. Or like I'm a little overwhelmed with mm -hmm. the Jordan or, or like my day, like maybe work was crazy or something. And you have to sometimes just step back and come come at come to your partner in a calm fashion mm -hmm. so that things don't get extra heated or or right. you don't you don't portray your um your stresses onto them and onto then it them. becomes them, you them stressed and then it becomes stressful on the relationship and what you guys are right. building either right. long term or, or or within that day exactly yeah <laughs> and have it put a strain on the relationship like you said longer than it needs to like whether it's just in that temporary yeah. time frame or like for an extended amount of time yeah. in your relationship. And it's something that I was going to say that you said by communicating, it is allowing or disallowing resentment to come mm, about yep, yep. because the one, the one thing you don't want to do is start to resent your partner because you're feeling a certain way and you're not able to properly express yourself and they're not able to be there for you. And something that's so important when it comes to communicating as well, one, why you should do it. And we always, you know, say this, that is key, but it's also key because your partner is not a mind reader. Right. Your partner is not going to always know how you're feeling. And though, you know, you could be with someone for a very long time. We've been together for a very long time. You're not going to always know how I'm feeling. A happy home, yeah. building a happy marriage, building a happy family. All of those things take day in and day out work. Like yes. you said, it's about those routines. It's about those habits and building those healthy habits provides you the responsibility for you to pour into your marriage, to pour into your relationship, and to pour into yourself. Exactly.